Good day, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. So I was getting a couple of uh, questions in the comments section about how do you avoid drones? How do you avoid getting zapped by a drone? Well, I wouldn't say it's the drone you're trying to avoid. Uh, it's more of their, their thermal uh, optics that you are trying to avoid. You are trying to avoid uh, the auto tracker on the thermal op optics if that drone happens to possess uh, both uh, thermal optics and an auto tracker uh, for, for uh, tracking moving targets. Um, so first thing, it's, it's incredibly difficult to defeat uh, thermal uh, imaging uh, optics depending on the quality of said thermal imaging optics. Um, the, fir the first thing, if, if you think you're under observation of a, of a drone and uh, you probably want to uh, stop movement, the first, your first inclination is going to be to run, you know, get out of that area. Well, that's, that's going to, they're going to see you uh, much better, uh, especially if you're moving rather than uh, staying still under a tree or under a bush and just and just playing possum so to speak um, can you cover can you mask your thermal signature yeah you can um, there are systems out there that that can do that uh, but they're they're fairly expensive especially the ones that are designed to mask vehicles uh, but there has been some success with some aluminum foil and, and uh, uh, nylon uh, camo patterns over top of the nylon or over top of the aluminum foil. Another important thing is to keep your spatial distancing when road marching or marching over land. Not just spatial distancing, but uh, a staggered column or a multiple staggered column as well. Um, and uh, if you think there is a, a drone overhead, you, again, you just want to stop all movement, find a, a defilade position where if there is a detonation near you, uh, you you could be uh, uh, covered by uh, the uh, a terrain feature, so to speak, and uh, that would prevent any kind of blast wave or any possible f uh, fragmentation from hitting you. But that's kind of really the uh, the only thing you can do. I mean, obviously vehicles uh, who w which are setting in the sun all day. And then once night rolls around, you're, you're going to see those vehicles very well. Um, at night, the, the ground is going to start cooling, and then obviously the human body does not cool. Um, you're going to be seen very well. Um, so a, a lot of military formations have the tendency to move at night, which is not a good idea if, you're being, uh, if your enemy possesses uh, drones. Uh, number one, you can't see the drone at night, and they can see you. Versus, if you're if you're moving during the day, you can at least possibly see the drone and know they're there. Um, but uh, at night, you're going to show up much better, and uh, you're not going to see them until it's probably too late, and uh, they're definitely going to uh, to see you. But uh, there's not a lot of good options. Uh, unless uh, you have a, a fairly advanced uh, military that has the ability to combat drones and either destroy them at their source or knock them out of the air. Uh, 